What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today, what I'm gonna share with you guys is how to cut an A-line bob uh, with your scissors. So let's break down the sectioning. Uh, from the front half, we're gonna draw four triangles and then right off the back crown, we're gonna draw one more triangle and that point's gonna come down to the occipital bone area. I'm gonna clip both sides away and we're gonna start straight down vertical uh, section in the back. So now as I pull that out, notice that I'm gonna work um, from the center back to the right hand side. So the reason I chose to do that is because this is my weaker side, my elbow's up in the air, it's a little harder for me to stay consistent. So I like to work with my weak side first so I can really focus on it and get that shape where I want it to be. Then I move to my strong side after and it's super easy to connect it. So hope you guys like that tip. As I'm working through the back here, I'm gonna get slightly more diagonal forward with each parting that I take clipping everything away, staying nice and consistent, and just making sure that my finger angle as I cut mimics the partings that I take. So notice how I get a little bit more diagonal forward as I work through. My finger angle stays parallel to the parting, uh, which is really important. And then also, do not worry, a lot of hairdressers wanna tuck their fingers in and take away some of this length on the graduation here, but we want that length for later when we go to cut the actual line that is going to be in the cut. So let that hair kind of play out what it is, create your consistent shape throughout, and then we'll worry about that length later. Another pro tip, take a look at how tight when I comb back the section, I don't leave any loose hair. So I really take that tight teeth of the comb and I comb right at the root all the way through. So you get nice consistent lines in the cut. It's very important to make sure that we get a nice structure in this haircut. So you can see that shape that we're starting to build. And now we're gonna work our strong side, uh, which is gonna have my fingers pointing up towards the sky, my elbow down. Uh, same angle, same guideline, just working my way through. So in these last sections, as you probably saw on the other side, everything's just coming straight back to me. So we're really building a, a horizontal line. You can see how I cross check it there. A horizontal line uh, parallel with my shoulders. If I'm standing looking straight back at the head, everything's coming straight back to me. So we're really building that nice horizontal line in the back. And now we're gonna work that top triangle section in the crown area. With this section, I'm gonna do everything, I'm gonna mimic what I did at the bottom. So my fingers are now pointing down. Uh, this is the weak side, or my weak side. So I comb everything out and over, and I'm just gonna work that line. Now, if you wanted a little uh, less graduation, just elevate a little bit more, it's up to you. Uh, it really depends on the density of your client that you're working with. 
So just keep bringing everything over. Now I, I follow and I find my guide and I just cut through. Everything's still, again, coming straight back to me, uh, cutting parallel with my shoulders, uh, nice horizontal line across. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So this is working on my strong side. Fingers are going to point towards the sky and I'm just going to bring everything out, follow that guideline all the way through. All right, so now that we've completed the back, we're gonna move into the side. Now I'm gonna start on the left-hand side and I'll work my way over to the right-hand side, just taking vertical sections and over-directing everything back. Notice that I broke this section in half. It's too uh, tall for my fingers, basically. So I cut it in half and then I work my way uh, to the bottom of this section. Now I think elevation is just so important at this point of the haircut uh, where a lot of times we'll just end up with too much weight. So notice as I take these sections and you'll notice it even more when I get to the next triangle up, but just notice my elevation is a little bit higher. It's up. It's following that line that I've been creating in this cut. Uh, that makes it nice and light around the perimeter line. Uh, I think what happens too often is that we cut everything so low and then we end up with too heavy of a perimeter line. And then when we go to cut that nice line at the end dry, it's just too thick uh, and doesn't have that balance that we're looking for. So uh, you'll notice it in the end result, but you'll see that it's nice and light when I go to cut through, it's super simple. And it's those little tricks that save you so much time in the salon when you're cutting hair. All right, so you can see that line that we've created. Now we're gonna work the last two triangles in this cut and we're gonna watch it from an overhead view, but just know, and you'll see how far I pull this hair out. I'm, I'm elevating it quite a bit because this is the heaviest point. So it's already wrapped up over that parietal ridge area, which is gonna give it even lower elevation, which is gonna create even more density, more weight. So if you wanna lighten up somebody's um, hairline, all you have to do is elevate just slightly as you work through these last few sections. So see how it comes out to me, elevated up, but I'm still following that line that I created in the cut. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And there we go. So now I'm gonna start blow drying. I'm gonna do a flat wrap technique using the Ergo Diamond Head Brush, my favorite 
brush uh, that we sell. We sell it on shopfse.com if you're looking for a brush. Uh, but it's a mini paddle brush. I love this thing for short hair, medium hair, um, doing a flat wrap technique to just really build in the shape of the head into this dry portion uh, so that when I go in to do my dry cutting, it's falling nice and natural. Then I go in, I smooth it out with a smoothing iron, just kind of bend the hair slightly following the curve of the head, not curling it, but just bending it a little bit to follow that curve. So you can see that shape starting to build in there and then finish it up, a couple more swipes with the iron and we'll be ready for our dry cutting. What I really am excited for you guys to see is what it looks like already without the dry cutting the outer perimeter part. So you can see this shape that kind of unfold but look at that outer perimeter line. So you can see the head shape actually happening. So what we're gonna do is just go in and cut the actual line that we want the perimeter to be. What too many people do is they think about this line from the get go and they start cutting it in wet. It's so much better if you just let the interior of the haircut build itself and then go in with the tip of the scissor, just refine your edge, create whatever the outer perimeter is that you want. Like you can see, I'm taking a little bit extra length off of it connecting the pieces together. Didn't want so much of an angle in there. Just wanted it to be nice and soft to really mimic that uh, graduation that we built in the haircut. So check it out guys, here's the end result. Beautiful, seamless graduation, A-line feel to it. Hope you guys like it. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. That would mean a lot. I got videos like this coming out all the time. Uh, anything you're looking to learn, let me know in the comments below. Uh, hit the like button, share this with your friends. Thanks for watching. By the way, guys, freesaloneducation.com is powered by my friends at Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture or equipment, they're the best in the business. Uh, they've been supporting free salon education for a long time, so go give them some support. Uh, check out minervabeauty.com and at Minerva Beauty on Instagram.